the database defaults, equipment database, and line work code sets in figure prefix database should be in place before you import any survey data. And we haven't done that yet to this file. Some companies would like you to keep the data on their server so it is easy to share and back up. So we can configure where these files are going to be located. So on the survey tab, on the toolspace panel, we can click on the survey user settings. This thing can be sometimes kind of hard to find because we don't often think about using these buttons up here at the top. So it's going to be this button here that we're interested in. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that button. And this is going to open the survey user settings. And as we can see right now, everything is kind of the external editor is Windows users notepad. I'm just going to make this window just a little bit bigger so we can see a little bit more here. And we have the survey database defaults. And right now it's set to this location. I'm just going to scroll down. Oftentimes your company, so it says here figure prefix database path. And right now it's set to this, and this is going to change eventually. But sometimes your company wants you to use their settings, so you may have to click here and then path this out to some place on the server, like to a map network drive. So in case you have to do that, this is where you would need to do that. Just wanted to show you the location on where you need to change your survey user settings. So for this example tutorial, this example survey file that we're going through, we're not actually going to do that. But in case you have to do that, this is where you would need to do that. I also want to mention that once you make these changes in your survey user settings, it's going to stick for every drawing that you open.